Hey, welcome to another Gourmet Fishing Info Short. I'm your host, David Murray, and on today's short, we're gonna take our buttery burger buns we prepared a couple of shorts ago, and we're going to create ourselves a fried dolphin sandwich served with a homemade tartar sauce, and then we're gonna pair all of that together with a sweet vinegar coleslaw. Now, before we can uh, get our short out to our planetary population, we do have a little bit of business to take care of, so why don't we get started by, you know, roll the open. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that little notification bell. And hey, if you like the video, give it that little thumbs up click down below. And please feel free to leave any comments. Now, let's get to our grocery lists. So we've got to start out with, well, our buttery buns from a couple of, <laughs> a couple of shorts ago. We made some dolphin fillets. And we're gonna get into our breading. Our breading, we're gonna need some yellow cornmeal, self-rising yellow cornmeal, self-rising flour, and some Cajun seasoning. Our tartar sauce, we're gonna need some mayo, we're gonna need some sour cream, shallots, some little small sweet gherkin uh, pickles, we're gonna need some lemon, some lime, and salt and pepper to taste. So, tell you what, let's, let's go ahead and get to our um, tartar sauce so all those flavors can kind of sort of come together and uh, they'll have a little bit of time to to make each other as happy as they can. So, let's see, we're gonna move these out the way here. We've got here, we've got um, half a cup of, I'm using uh, avocado oil mayonnaise. Now, if you wanna use just plain regular old regular mayonnaise, go for it. Uh, nothing's telling you you can't. Uh, you can even use the olive oil or some of the other flavors or make your own, doesn't matter. Now, I've got a half a cup of sour cream right here just like so okay and now we've got a tablespoon of minced shallots and here are our sweet gherkin potatoes that have been uh, finely chopped and on top of that we're going to take uh, about a tablespoon of lime juice add that and also a tablespoon of lemon and do the same I'm gonna come in with a little bit of pepper to taste and round it out with a little salt to taste. Now we're gonna take, instead of this, I'm gonna use a whisk and get everything working together. And how about that? It, tartar sauce is not hard to make. It's actually very simple, uh, very uh, minimalistic in uh, you know, our ingredients that we're putting in. So here it is. I mean, that, holy cow. There it is. So <laughs> let's, I'm going to take, I'm going to put this over here. And then we, again, we're just going to let that sit and, uh, and, and let all those flavors come together. Now we have in this bag, we have our fried breading. Anytime you, you, you fry fish, man, you, you, it just seems like you have to use a brown paper bag. I don't know what it is. And of course, that's with a, a dry, uh, you know, a, a batter, not, 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 not a wet one. Anyway, so what I've got in here is I have a cup of self-rising yellow cornmeal, and I've got a half a cup of uh, self-rising flour, and then about a quarter cup of the Cajun seasoning. We've got it in here and got it all mixed up, and it is 
gonna be ready for us to jump in here in a minute. Now, where is, here we go. I need to keep an eye on this uh, oil. Eh, it's getting up there. Sure is, I'm gonna check it one more time with this, because I think that digital thermometer is actually hitting the bottom of the pan. So just bear with me for a second and we will uh, we'll grab this dolphin in a minute and uh, get it all prepared and, and, and ready for frying. So I'll be slowly moving. And we're at about 325, getting very, very close to frying time. Now, let us take a look at our dolphin. Now, this is, is not the mammal, it's the fish. It has a great fighting fish for one thing, unbelievable. Dance, j dance, jumping all over the place. And probably, I'd say probably one of the top four um, eating fish out in the ocean. Now, you may not be familiar with the word dolphin and I'm, go I'm gonna use uh, a, a one word and then a double word that I'll pro you'll probably <laughs> never hear me use again unless I'm in Hawaii. And you may know what this you know, d d dolphin by another name and that's mahi or mahi mahi. So that's out the way. But it's also known as Dorado down in, uh, in Mexico and down in the Central Am uh, America, South America area. So we are going to, I'm gonna move this one right here. I'm gonna use this for our sandwich. You can see the, the there's a little bit of color in there. There's some, some greens and yellows. Uh, you ought to see them when they're lit up, um, uh, when, you, when you're catching them. Now, this right, about right here, looks like a pretty good, pretty good piece for a, for a sandwich. So I'm gonna cut right through here, and we're going to remove it from the skin. And this right here is where the bloodline is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, cut it right off that skin. Just like so. Just like that. Just like so. Now, boy, that's a perfect piece for a sandwich. I'll tell you what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off too while we're here, while I got it, because this is actually kind of the piece that's up by the top of the head, and that is delicious. Okay, move you out of the way, and we have that little piece for later, that little piece for the sandwich. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, not a lot. Flip him over, do the same thing here. And here, now just a hint of pepper, not a lot, because that Cajun seasoning in our, in our breading will take care of that. Now, let's see. Oop, looks like that's good. I just made a mess with water on me. So, we are going to add our pieces of dolphin to our brown bag of deliciousness. Give it a good shake, just like so. Right, now, get my tongue out, but we're gonna shake off as much as the breading as we can. I'm gonna put that here, and where'd the other one go? There it is. Just like, I'll put that one right there on top, just like so. Now, we are ready to fry. And what I'm gonna do, obviously that oil is about 350. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. I'm gonna put this in and lay it away from me so it doesn't splash back at me. Just like so, there we are. And do the same with this piece, in and out. Now, it's not gonna take too long to, to prepare and cook this. So, we're gonna sit there, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, where are tongs? Here are our tongs. Yes, sir. Now, this is probably gonna take, I don't know, three, four minutes per side. You know, for the big one, the, the, the smaller one's gonna take probably a little less than that. All right, again, through the magic of editing, we are ready to drain our fish. Oh man, that looks good. See here, oh man, yum, yum, yum. That's gonna be awesome. Let's take me, go ahead and turn that off. Get you out the way. Yes, sir. Flip this over this way, get a little bit more drain. This little guy here, all right. We are now ready to plate. Let's see, I'm gonna grab. Well, you know what I need to do? I need to move this out the way a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing. Come up here, okay. So let's grab 
our little plating area. We've got it. Check it out. There it is. There's our browned buttery bun from our last uh, short. Now we're going to come in. Let's see. I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of lettuce like so. I guess I think probably this will be enough. Okay. Now we're going to come in with a, here we are, tomato. Give us a tomato slice. Excuse me. Get this one right here. Check that out. Nice beef steak tomato. Gonna sit right there. Now we're gonna come in with our oh with our fish. Check that out, man. Are you kidding me? That is awesome. Yes, sir. Now we need, here we are. Get a spoon. Here is our tartar sauce. Come in. You know, who knows how much you might or might not like of this. So we're going to put this just on the edge and we will leave that up to you. Now we've got some of our, oh, check that out. Some of our sweet vinegar coleslaw. I mean, what more can you ask for? Check that thing out, man. That is awesome. Fried dolphin sandwich sitting on top of our buttery burger buns. We've got our homemade tartar sauce and a homemade sweet and vinegar coleslaw. Now, I hope y'all give this a shot, give it a try. You saw it was fairly simple, fairly easy. So I tell you what, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that notification bell. And hey, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment or two. So until next time, God bless, and we'll see you then.